you were to ask a hundred different people what they're looking for in a church, they'd probably give you a hundred different answers. A life-changing word, an anointed music ministry, a place of genuine love, care, and support, a multiplicity of programs and outreaches that extend beyond the walls of the church. Most people who look for a church with a strong foundation, yet is open and receptive to 21st century ministry applications and methodologies. That's our vision and our mission here at Greater Grace Temple, the City of David. I'm Bishop Charles H. Ellis III, Senior Pastor, and Amazing Grace starts right now. Can we do a sold out rock in this house? Come on, everybody move, come on, come on, sad. Here we go, come on. Yeah, here we go. I am sold out. Let me hear y'all, come on, see my mind. Come through! 
You know, many times in our walk with God, people mistake our confidence for arrogance. Arrogance is when you're depending upon your own ability. But confidence is when you're relying on the power of God and Almighty Christ. The message that I'm preaching on today is entitled, Don't Hate My Confidence. Yes, the Bible teaches us to walk in humility, but Paul declares that we must be confident, knowing that he which hath begun a great work in us, he will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. And also the word of God admonishes us to have confidence in God, that when we ask him for something, we believe that we already have it. Enjoy this message on today. Don't hate my confidence. Not me, or it's not I, but Paul says, it's the Christ that dwelleth on the inside of me. So I'm confident on my limitations. I'm confident on who I am. I'm confident on what I can do and what I cannot do. But one thing I know, that as long as I have the Spirit of God in me, I can do all things through Christ that he has appointed for me to do. Come on and shout glory, somebody. So then when I look at my confidence, it says that I know who I am in God. When I look at my confidence, I'm not saying that I am better than anybody else because I am susceptible to all of, of the failures and all of the faults and all of the insecurities that anybody else can fall up under. That's why I have to continue to, to discipline my flesh. And that's why I have to continue to, to read my word. And that's why I have to continue to, to feed my spirit uh, with the word of God. Uh, because I know that I am weak as water when I am outside of God. Uh, but as long as I am inside of God, uh, I am strong as a rock. I am strong uh, as an ox. Am I helping somebody up in here? Uh, so I'm not walking around with arrogance. Of thinking that I can outdo you I'm not thinking that I'm better than you I'm not thinking that you will never be on my level but I am walking with a confidence that I have in God that says if God wants to bless me it don't matter to me what you think about it you just got to get with it if God wants to smile on me I'm not going to tell him but don't do it so much because I don't want everybody mad at me God smile on me as much as you want you can wink and twinkle at me all day long and everybody around me just got to get with it if you choose to leave my friend in the hood and take me to Beverly Hills 90210 they just got to deal with it if they still riding a bus but you bless me with a Rolls Royce they just got to deal with it if they've been preaching and ain't got no anointing and I just started preaching yesterday and the anointing is falling all over me they just got to deal with it tell that neighbor don't hate my confidence is there anybody that want to be everything that God has called you to be is there anybody that want to be all that the Lord has called you to be you understand uh, that for you to go to that level in God, uh, that you can't worry about people around you. You can't worry about what everybody thinks, and you can't be considerate of everybody's feelings because if you tried to make everybody comfortable, you would never be able to go anywhere. Now, there's some places that God is taking you that you just gonna have to tell some people bye bye. There's some places God is taking you where He's gonna have to cut some strings off. For you. There's some places that God is taking you where you're gonna have to dismiss yourself from some people uh, because they ain't gonna be able to handle it. Uh, as long as both of y'all struggling, uh, they wanna be your friend. But when God start taking you up, uh, oh, you changing. You got that right. I'm changing. I done waited a long time for this change, uh, and I believe that I'm going to give God a praise uh, while the change is taking place. Am I talking to somebody in here? Tell that neighbor, don't hate my confidence. I wish I had some confident people up in here uh, that would give a neighbor a high five uh, and tell a neighbor, I've been waiting on the Lord to do some things. Uh, 
I've been waiting on God to take me some places. Uh, and I just found out uh, that I've been trying to go there on my own. Uh, I can't go there on my own because God has seasons uh, and God has timings. Uh, and now that I read the word of God, uh, the word of God is cleared. Uh, he says if we receive the witness of men, uh, then the witness of God is greater. Uh, so if you think that some people uh, who don't have the spirit of God are great folk, uh, if you're looking at some athletes that ain't giving God no credit, uh, and there you are wearing their church and there you are talking about I want to be like this one and I want to be like that one and they ain't never giving God the glory never giving God the praise but well, if you believe their witness then the witness of God has got to be greater than them I don't care who makes a basket or throws a touchdown or hit the ball clear out the stadium I'm walking with somebody that can lay hands on the sick and they can recover I'm hanging with somebody that can walk to a four day old grave and say Lazarus come forth and here he comes forth bound hand and foot is there anybody that's walking in the confidence of God truly brothers and sisters being a confident Christian does not mean you're arrogant that means that you're just believing that with God all things are possible and you know, I want to be associated with individuals that have that same like faith, which has encouraged me to put together a fellowship entitled Agape, a graceful association of pastors ecumenically. Enjoy this video footage and I'll be right back. For the past 13 years, we've been presenting this Pastors and Church Leaders Conference and I've been bombarded probably over the last five or six years by pastors needing and wanting to be coached or mentored. And I struggle with that because uh, I'm a part of a denomination, the Pentecostal Assemblies of the World, as a matter of fact, the presiding bishop. And I'm certainly not a person of confusion. And I don't want there to be any kind of division or discontent within my own organization by starting this particular ecumenical fellowship. But as I really thought about it and prayed about it and see the need and again have heard the Macedonian cry for so many pastors that are Lutheran, that are Methodist, that are Baptist, that are just independent ministries as well as of course Pentecostals and Apostolics wanting to come up under a banner supported by Bishop Ellis and Greater Grace Temple. I feel now is the time to unveil and to initiate Agape. This brand new fellowship, a graceful association of pastors ecumenically. It is designed especially for you. It's one thing to be called to the pastorate. It's another thing to have someone to help to guide you through the various challenges of pastoring a congregation. The Ethiopian eunuch, he was a very intelligent person. He was reading the scriptures, but when Philip was joined to his chariot, Philip asked him, do you understand what you read? He said, how can I accept some man guide me? Elisha, he wanted a double portion of Elijah's spirit and anointing. And brothers and sisters, it's a great thing to be mentored by somebody that has the anointing of God. And I thank God that he has favored us here at Greater Grace Temple, the city of David, and he's favored yours truly to carry his anointing. And one of the most important things that you could ever do in ministry is to attach yourself to someone that is anointed. I would love to have you to be a part of Agape, this brand new ecumenical fellowship right here in the city of David. I certainly hope that I'll hear from you real soon. He said, no man takes my life. Uh, I've got power to lay it down uh, and I've got power to take it up again. Uh, but here is the great thing. Uh, he walked with confidence. He walked with authority. He walked with power.
dust. But he did not keep it unto himself. Uh, but he stepped on that cloud and went back to heaven. Uh, and ten days later, he poured out of his spirit uh, into those 120 that were assembled in the upper room. Uh, and now everybody that has received the spirit of God, uh, they have the power of God. Uh, everybody that has received the spirit of God, uh, they have the authority of God. Uh, and shame on you uh, if you ain't using your authority. Shame on you uh, if you're not using your power. Shame on you uh, if you let the devil ride your back and you can't do nothing about it. Lift yourself up uh, and get that enemy off you uh, and use the power of God uh, to tell the devil, I will not walk in torment, but I will walk in authority. Uh, I might be sick, but I'm walking in authority. Uh, I might be down, but I'm walking in confidence. Is there anybody that, that will not let your circumstance uh, dictate your outlook? Is there anybody that, that might be broke, but you still got confidence? Uh, anybody in here that might be sick, but you still got confidence? Uh, I dare you to give that neighbor a high five uh, and tell a neighbor that don't hate on me. That I'm just confident. Uh, what are you confident about? I'm confident that God is on my side. Uh, and greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Uh, what are you confident about? Uh, I'm confident that God is able uh, to do exceedingly abundantly uh, above all that I can ask or think. Uh, don't hate on me. Uh, what are you comfortable about? I'm confident that yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God is with me. Goodness and mercy is following me. What are you confident about? I'm confident that God is my refuge and my strength. He's a present help in trouble. If you want to stay in the house and lock yourself, I'm walking with confidence. I plead the blood over every devil. I plead the blood over every demon. I plead the blood over every enemy. I plead the blood over every satanic force. Is there anybody that's got the confidence of God? Shout glory in here. Shout glory again. He said, this is the confidence uh, that we have in him. Uh, and he said in verse number 10, uh, if you believe in the Son of God, uh, you have the witness in himself. Uh, he said that he that does not believe in God uh, has made him uh, a liar. Uh, because he has not believed uh, the testimony that God has given his son. Uh, but everybody in here with the Holy Spirit, uh, you ought to believe what God's word says. Uh, why in the world would you read the word uh, and not believe the word? Uh, just like I told you about my natural daddy. Uh, if he said we were getting in, uh, I got in the car. Uh, I didn't worry about being embarrassed. Uh, I didn't worry about somebody turning us away. Uh, I didn't worry about somebody saying, who are y'all? Uh, because my daddy had taught me uh, that if he was on his way, uh, it was going to come to pass. Uh, and every time we went, uh, we gained access. Uh, so what I did with my father, uh, I gained experience. Uh, and my experience with him uh, said, don't doubt what he said. Uh, because if he said it's going to happen, uh, it's going to happen. Shut. And I done been saved long enough shut, to have some experience with God. Shut, that if he did it before, shut, he's going to do it again. Shut. And if you ain't got no experience, shut, you ought to try him every now and then. Shut. If you don't know what God can do, shut, you ought to turn some things over to him. Shut. Is there anybody in here shut, that ever had to give something to the Lord? Shut and let him work it out shut, and let him handle it shut, and let him make a way shut. I wish I had two people shut, that could tell somebody shut, that there was a time shut, when I didn't think I was going to make it shut. and in the midst of nowhere shut, here comes Jesus shut, and walked into my situation shut, and made everything alright shut. I wish I had three or four people shut that could tell somebody shut. I was down to the last hour shut and I was just about to give up shut. But before I threw in the towel shut, God said, wait a minute shut. 
I'm right here by your side. There's somebody in here that thought you were forsaken, but all of a sudden, God stepped in the room. I got some sick people in here that laid in the hospital bed and didn't know what was going to happen. But in the midnight hour, God got in the bed and told you, I got you covered. Is there anybody in here that thought you were going to lose everything? But God made a way out of no way. I dare you to tell somebody, don't hate on me if I believe God. Don't hate on me if I trust God. Don't hate on me if I'm secure in God. Is there anybody that will walk like you got it going on? That will walk like everything's all right. That will walk like all is well. Look at that neighbor and tell them, neighbor, I'm in some rough times. I'm going through right now. But I know that everything is all right. That's why I can praise God in my storm. That's why I can praise God through my tears. That's why I can praise God through my hurt, through my pain. Is there anybody that had to cry all night long? But you woke up, wiped your tears, and walked out the house shut and didn't nobody know it shut is there anybody shut that lost your job shut but when you came to church shut you still shut had a praise shut you still shut had a worship shut you still shut gave god the glory shut give that neighbor high five shut and tell a neighbor shut don't hate on me shut i'm just believing shut what god say shut tell a neighbor shut did you not know shut, that God is shut, everything shut. He's my all in all shut. He's my wheel shut in the middle of a wheel shut. He's my shelter shut when I'm weak and worn shut. He's a roof shut over my head shut. He's my provider shut. He's my supplier shut. He's my sufficiency shut. Is there anybody shut that will walk shut with confidence shut? That will talk shut with confidence shut. Look at that neighbor shut and shake that neighbor's hand shut and tell a neighbor shut. If you hate on me shut, that's your problem shut. If you can't deal with me shut, that's your dilemma shut. If you can't handle me shut, then you gotta deal with it shut. But as of this day shut, I'm believing shut. Every promise shut that God made to me shut. I'm believing shut. Every word shut that God spoke to me shut. I'm believing shut. Everything shut that God said shut. Say yeah. Shut. <laughs> Do I have a witness in here? Shut. I wish I had somebody to cross the aisle shut and to give that name over there a high five shut and tell them I'm healed shut. Cause I'm confident, shut. Tell them I'm rich, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I made a way, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I'm brought out, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I am the head, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I am above, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I'm coming out, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Tell them I'm victorious, shut. Because I'm confident, shut. Is there anybody, shut, that will look at the devil, shut, and say I'm a winner, shut. I may be broke, shut, but I'm a winner, shut. I may be sick, shut, but I'm a winner, shut. Say it, say it, say it, shut, say it. Woo! I wish I had some praise and folk up in here. I wish I had some confident praises. I don't have to see it to believe it. I can praise God in the midst of it. For 60 seconds, give me some confident praises up in here. I'm broke, but I'm a praiser. I might be sick, but I'm a praiser. 
might be down right now, but I'm still a praiser because I've got confidence. Woo! Come on, let me hear that confident praise. The devil hear it. He thought he had you down. He thought he had you bound. But I'm still giving God a praise. Shake them handcuffs off and give God a praise. In order to see the blessings of God, you must become a confident Christian. You must walk knowing that God is able, that God can, and that God will. When you come to him, believe that the work is already done. And that will show God that you're not just coming asking for something that maybe he can do, but you're asking him for that which he can do. And you're believing that by faith, it's already done. Become a confident Christian and know that all things work together for your good. Let's pray now the prayer of faith. Lord, give us strength, give us encouragement, and give us the tenacity to walk in certainty, believing every word and every promise in the Holy Scriptures. Let us be people of confidence, knowing that you can and that you will. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Listen, my time is up and I've got to go, but always know that we love you and we're praying for you right here from the city of David. Be blessed. Watch this and I'm done. Paul says in Philippians chapter 1 and verse number 6. What does he say, Bishop? He says, being confident of this very thing. He which had begun a good work in you. Tell that neighbor, you're only looking at the beginning. Watch this. A praise is getting ready to erupt up in here. Tell that neighbor, you're only looking at the beginning. Tell them I'm a, I'm a Christian in the rough. Tell them I'm a Christian in the rough. And even though it looked like you're down, even though it looked like you're hurting, even though you look like you're going through, a diamond in the rough has got to be polished. A diamond in the rough has got to be massaged. A diamond in the rough has got to be swoles up. Tell that neighbor God is squeezing me. God is polishing me. God is rubbing me. But when he gets done, I'm coming out with confidence. I'm coming out with authority. I'm coming out with a praise. Give somebody a high five and tell them don't hate on me.